Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Computers in More. And uh, previously, I've done the unboxing and overview of the Gigabyte Unify Wi-Fi X99 chipset motherboard. And today I am bringing you the, you know, technical specifications, load test and the BIOS and everything, you know, all those techy stuff, how you can overclock the overclocking potential and everything. So today I am configuring the Gigabyte X99 UD5 Wi-Fi motherboard along with 16 GB kit from ADATA that is at working at 2400 MHz and uh, along with the, that I will be using the ADATA SP9200 SS uh, SSD 256 GBs. And for the GPU, I am very much thankful to Gigabyte for this. That they have provided me with the Gigabyte WinForce 3X OC R9290X 4GB area 5 graphic card. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the BIOS and maybe after that we will be taking a look at the other features. So, stay tuned. Pretty much like the previous generations, the X99 UD5 Wi-Fi even comes with a UDFI BIOS from Gigabyte. Though it's greatly improved both in terms of stability and performance, but the old feel is still intact, which is a good news to loyal Gigabyte product owners. Pressing F2 quickly gets you into the classic mode and is more comfortable for overclocking purposes. Good that the MIT section greets you first. Also, the HD BIOS section is same with the molten lava look and details about anything and everything right on the sides itself. Since the UD5 supports DDR4 RAMs of up to 3000 MHz, I managed to overclock my ADATA XPG Z12400 MHz kit to a whooping 3000 MHz with ease and stability. Also, the Intel i7-5930K peaked at 4.6 GHz with just around 1.2 volt core voltage and stayed below 60 degrees Celsius using the Corsair H110 liquid cooling kit. All in all, the UD5 is no slouch in overclocking and its BIOS helped me overclock everything right from out of the box. The USP of the UD5 is the ambient LEDs on its heatsink. IO shield and even the amp up isolation strip. These can be controlled easily using the provided utility software in four modes namely as off, still, beat and pulse. Off will obviously set the LEDs off and still will keep them on constantly. On selecting the pulse mode you can see that it starts blinking in sort of a breathing mode which is quite soothing and cool. Well that winds up all the external features of the board. On the technical side, the onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth work like a plug-and-play device, which is very good and on the benchmarking end, I performed a bunch of real-life and synthetic tests to measure the performance of the board on an overclocked processor and RAM. The components performed as expected and the UD5 passed in flying colors, be it a game like Crisis 3 or a stress test like Intel XTU. In the end, I'd say that the UD5 Wi-Fi is a feature-rich board that has a whole package for catering to a wide range of consumers. It handles overclocking and power management very well, courtesy to its 8-phase all-digital power controller and adds a bling to the setup with its flashy LEDs. At around $300, it's worth every penny spent. I give it a big thumbs up for anyone and everyone out there. So if you like my videos, then do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment if you have anything to add or ask regarding this video. Till the next time, bye bye and take care.